What is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a red zebra midge three different ways. This first way is with your standard red hairs dubbing and a gold bead head. The second way is with glow bug material and a glass bead head. This third way has another name to it. I can't remember it, but it's the easiest way to tie. The only difference these three flies are gonna have are the dubbing and the bead head. When it comes to the wire, I like using the gold ultra wire size small. And when it comes to thread, I like using uni thread six lot for these midge flies. Color of your choice. And as far as the hooks goes, this is a Daichi curved nymph hook with a 2.4 millimeter gold bead head. And this is one of those flies that you want to tie for your personal use um, that you would have in your fly box. It's one of those flies you really don't want to lose, but you want to always have. So you want to wrap the wire in, make sure it's nice and secure. And then you do kind of want to wrap the body evenly all the way through just to where you're going to wrap the thorax of the body. When wrapping the gold wire, you do kind of want to try to wrap it evenly to give it a nice clean look. Once you've reached to the point where you're going to have the body cavity, you want to wrap the thread around the wire about three times and then go back the other way to tie it off. And then you simply give yourself a little room and twist off your wire. And it always helps to smash the little piece of wire to kind of push it in. And then this is red hairs dubbing. Um, when you use red hairs dubbing, it gives it a fluffy look and kind of makes it puff out a little bit and it definitely helps out when the fishes don't want to bite. It gives it kind of a leg look and it'll make those fish that are a little iffy take your fly. Once you've got your dubbing on, you simply wrap until you get to a certain size that you like and basically tie it off and that's about it and you want to bring your thread back as close as you can to the bead give it a whip finish and the fly is complete And there you have it, the finished product. One thing you can do, and it's not really a must, you could get a pair of scissors and trim off the longer pieces to give it a better look. So this next way to tie is a super easy way to tie. And it's great to know because you can make a bunch of these, have them in your box, give it to anybody that's struggling or needs help because the material is super cheap to get. This is a standard Mustad nymph hook with a glass bead. So the tie process is exactly the same. 
you tie in your thread, you snip off the excess. Definitely helps to have a good scissor. And you tie off your wire. So as far as the dubbing go, you can use any kind of dubbing you want. I like using glow bug yarn. You can use regular yarn. And just get yourself a small pinch of the yarn. And then you put the dubbing onto the thread. and wrap according to your preference of size. Once that's done, give it a whip finish and that's a completed fly. Again, these are just those flies that you wanna have in your fly box so you could sharing with people that are struggling, help someone out, or if you're teaching somebody and we all know that feeling when you're trying to pick something up, especially fly fishing, you're gonna lose a lot of flies. So this next way is the easiest way to tie it and it's the most time efficient. You get one of these out within 30 seconds or less and super easy to make. You basically choose the fly pattern you want or the thread color you want and you just go at it. Stock your fly box and make it look like you're an awesome fisherman. At least that is what I do. So quick plug for myself here. I do sell these flies online um, for dirt cheap and a fraction of the cost. I make no money off of this. So if you don't want to tie these guys or if you simply don't have time to tie it, you should definitely send me a personal message on Facebook or Instagram and um, order them for me. I ship them with postage stamps. And again, I sell them for dirt cheap. Um, so definitely give me a message if you want some of these guys to stock up the fly box. I love tying flies and I got no problem tying them and sending them your way. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have been using these flies for a long, long time, for over a decade. Um, they work, they always work. Anytime I'm having a hard time, I put these on and they will always catch me fish. Whether it was back in 2011, when I just first started fly fishing and learning the ropes, I was still catching big fish and little fish 
I had a blast. Always did, and I always will. This is one of those fishers that I watched somebody work for over an hour, and they gave me a shot at them. I worked them for about 15 minutes, and lucky for me, she hit it, and this was on one of the black midges. Or to present day, 2021, still using the same flies, they still catch me fish. The midge works so good that they even catch people sometimes. This is one of my best takes that I have this season on those little chrono midges or those zebra midges.